Hi guys. Right, this video is uh, it's going to be quite difficult to record actually, but uh, let's give it a go. I'm going to try and show you how to use multiple monitors in Rightmove. Now the concept's very easy, but trying to show it is, is quite tricky. The way I'm going to do this is I've got two webcams attached. I've got a webcam, which is the main one, which is the C270 that's attached to a laptop. But I've also got this other one here, which I'm just moving into shot. This is the C920, and I'm just using this to basically let you see what's going on. Well, that's my lighting rig, by the way. I'm sure you can do better than that. Uh, so there's my laptop. It's C270 on the top. Um, on the output of the HDMI, I'm going through to a VGA and connecting to a second monitor. Okay, let's just have a quick look at Windows settings. Hang on a sec. Let's just put that back. So it's looking at the second monitor. I'll also show you how you can get the second feed into Rightboot at the moment. I've, you can see I've got the two webcam feeds coming in at the same time. Let me just pop out of here for a second. And there's the uh, Bandicam recording. If I look at the display settings, <clears throat> now on my display settings, I've got the laptop on one here, and I've got the external monitor, which is a, a HD monitor on two and I've put it to the left hand side of monitor one. So as I move the mouse across now you'll see uh, Bandicam actually switches to the blank second monitor and as I move my mouse back again I come back to monitor one. So that's going to allow me to switch between the two while I'm recording so that you can see what's going on. So that's how you set it up in your Windows display settings. And notice down here, they're both set up to 1280 by 720 landscape. Now, obviously, you can increase that. You can change it. You can make portrait and so on. I'm just stuck at 1280 by 720 just to keep the size of the recording down. OK. Let's go back into... the event and this is a very simple event start get ready countdown record video show video and thank you and I've effectively on every screen I've added this second item here so that you can see what's going to be happening as I play the event on the second monitor now how did I add that let me just uh, let me delete that right the first thing to say is that to set up the two webcams you can do that in Rightbooth settings. So if I go into settings and go to the video section, you can see that on my listing I've got a Logitech C270 and a Logitech C920. Webcam 1, I've set it up as the C270, and optional webcams, I've got the C920 as number 2. So that's this one. OK, so you have to do that in settings. So how do I add the second feed here? So I'll just go back in. Now, just to say, I'm only doing this to show you the multiple monitor setup. You don't need to have two webcams in order to use two monitors. But anyway, here we go. So to show you the feed from the second webcam, add an item, webcam. Now, by default, it puts me back on there as webcam one. But if I look at properties, I can change the feed for this webcam to be webcam 2 here. And there we go. I'm going to flip it over so you, you get the same view. So as I move my hand across, you can see me moving into shot there on the, on the second webcam. So really, I've just done that so that you can see what happens when I start using multiple monitors. So, how do we set up multiple monitors in Rightbooth? Let's come back out again. So this event, as I said, is a simple video recording event. And it's just going to record 20 seconds of video each time. So what you do is you go into Event Structure, Multiple Monitors, and effectively just tick this option here for monitor two screens. Now these two numbers here represent the 
monitor numbers in the Windows display settings. Now, normally you don't need to change these. So this monitor is my laptop screen and this monitor is my second monitor attached via the HDMI. Right, what does that do? Well, if I come back into the editor, you will now see that at the top of the screen editor, there are two options, monitor one, monitor two. Now, monitor one is obviously my recording screens. Monitor two, let me just move the mouse across now. So monitor two has its own set of screens. Now to begin with, monitor two simply has a start screen. Let's come back to monitor one again by clicking this. And as you can see, I'm back onto monitor one now. Now, if I go back to monitor two, notice that the screen editor has moved across and I can edit this screen just like I can with screens on monitor one. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to add an image sequence. Let's double click this. I'm going to go for a folder of images. Uh, let's go to pictures. I've got a slideshow here. So these are just pictures taken from our album here. Um, I'm not going to use this item here, so I'll just delete it. So what I've got here is just a slideshow moving around on monitor two. Click this and go back to monitor one. Now, as you can see, at the moment, we're not seeing the monitor two screens on monitor two. They only appear when you start playing. So let's try playing the event. Just save it for now. So I'm gonna play the event. Now, as you can see, monitor two is showing my slideshow independently from monitor one where the actual video recording will be taking place let me just put this back down again okay so i'm going to record a video on monitor one here we go click to start now notice that the slideshow is continuing independently of what i'm doing on monitor one so this is my recording one two three four stop recording so this is my recording, one, two, three, four, stop rec So as you noticed, it's played the video back to me, it's thanking me, and it's going back to the main screen. But notice throughout all that, that monitor two was displaying the slideshow. So this is quite useful. You could have monitor two outside a room, for instance, where you are recording videos and you want people possibly to be attracted to the, the video recording session or maybe to tell the user to keep quiet. So how can we do that? Let's have a look. <clears throat> I've escaped out. Let's go to the design, event structure, multiple monitors. Now here I can have in progress screens. I'm going to add an in progress screen to monitor two. Now what will that do? Let's go back into the editor. I'm going to switch to monitor two. Okay, so I move across to the second monitor. As you can see now, there's a new screen available. This is the video in progress screen. Now this screen will automatically show whenever a video recording is happening on monitor one. So I'm just going to edit this slightly just to say, please keep quiet. Let's centralize that, make the text a bit bigger. I'll probably even make this guy flash with a blink. Okay, let's go back to monitor one. So I'm gonna try recording again, and this time hopefully we shall see the video recording in progress screen appear. So, play the event. We see the slideshow on monitor two. We're ready to record on monitor one. Click the start. Get ready. Now, 
As soon as you start recording, notice that monitor two is, re is showing the video recording in progress screen. As soon as I stop this, now, as soon as you start recording, notice that monitor two is, re is showing the video recording in progress screen. As soon as I stop this, and when I did stop that, the monitor two screen started showing the slideshow again, and monitor one takes you back to the start of the event. So basically, you've got independent screens happening, and you can have up to four of these if you've got a multi-head graphics card attached. And you can also decide when you are taking photos or recording videos to show specific screens on the other monitors. Right, <laughs> hopefully that's given you an idea of what to do. Um, I'm sure people will have questions on this, so uh, feel free to ask either on the forum or email me directly. Okay, thanks.